guys, uh, welcome back. I am marking my one year anniversary, woohoo, as a bioinformatician. Officially by title. Um, I was a genomic data scientist for nearly three years, but I have officially had one year as a bioinformatician now. I say one year because I started in the August. No, I didn't. I started in July 2023 and then August was my bereavement time so I had a, a month of work uh, which I very much very much needed uh, thank you so much to my work and my manager and then I kind of came back in the September so I feel like September was my real start date so uh, it's now September 2024 <laughs> so I've had a whole year as a bioinformatician so I thought I'd kind of do a little one year review and tell you guys some things I've loved and some things I've learned about being a bioinformatician specifically in my environment. Let me just set the scene for you guys a very very important thing whenever you're explaining anything thinking those CVs. So I'm a bioinformatician uh, by job title and I work in a research institute, so not academia, university, not industry, but like a research institute. So still non-for-profit, charity funded, but not under the constraints of universities. And I work in a research group. So as a bioinformatician, you can work in the core department. So doing kind of more operational services, for the whole institute, but also you can be a bioinformatician in a research group itself. So that's me, I'm a bioinformatician, I sit in a research group in a research institute. My group is a multidisciplinary oncology translational group. So there are clinicians, there's experimental wet lab scientists, then there's also other bioinformaticians and there's PhDs and postdocs. So it's a really varied group and we cover the breadth of multi-omics which is a lot of different data types and a lot of different things to learn. One of the things I've loved about being a bioinformatician in this space is I've been so close to the the patients and I think when I've been in a data scientist role before you're really quite far well you can be quite far removed from the person who's donated that sample so when I worked in malaria you know we'd have a sample of a parasite DNA but I felt really far removed from the person who had kind of donated that sample whereas when you're working in a kind of clinical research group You've got doctors in your group who are meeting these patients who are giving you their data. So you just, I felt so much more closer to the patients. And I think that's been something I've loved about this year as a bioinformatician. And it's also just shown me that you can really have such a variety of roles as a bioinformatician. It's a huge umbrella term. We can wear many different hats and I've loved this style of hat where I really am in such a multidisciplinary group because, yeah, close to the patients, which is really important for me. So another thing I've loved about being a bioinformatician this year is it's really showed me just how adaptable this career is. So I used to work in malaria, on genomics and COVID, and then now I spent the past year working in oncology, doing image analysis, learning spatial biology. It's It's been so cool to really see how transferable this skill set is. You know, it's one thing saying, learn to code, it's so transferable, but now actually being in the position where I've completely changed domains and data types, really quite seamlessly obviously not without a learning curve but being able to do that is just really really cool so I really really love that I've been able to see that in action this year and I've just loved being new in a field I think I really thrive off novelty and it's been really cool to be in a completely new field have to learn loads of new stuff taking me back to like my uh university cell biology days it's been really epic. So new information, new change, mwah, chef's kiss. Another thing I've loved, and it's probably on the same arm of point number one, but I've really loved the collaboration with scientists I've had this year. My group, like I said, is multidisciplinary and I've got to work really closely with the wet lab biologists and the clinical pathologists and being able to kind of 
be the computational person in that scientific equation has been so much fun. I've really learned a lot about the data that's being generated. I've learned about why we need to generate such deep, important phenotypes. I feel just connected to the bigger picture. I really, really enjoyed having these different angles and then being able to come in with my analytical one and see if I can solve a problem, create a solution, optimize production. It's been epic. So really loved that about being a bioinformatician this year. Thirdly, no, fourthly, the thing I've really loved this year as well is, I mean, it applied to my previous job too, because I was in a similar research institute, but being in a research institute that's really big and world renowned, you just get so many opportunities that like are happening in the building really cool people come in and give talks there's loads of really interesting networks that host symposiums and conferences and it's all just happening in the building and you can just go to all these really cool things so i think i've just really loved that at my current role i think there's just so many options to really get connected with so many different streams of science and then on that kind of point as well i think I was so focused in my first job about genomics, you know, I've called this channel Genomics with Georgia, but it should be like Omics with Georgia, because one thing, well, another thing I've loved about this year is really seeing again, like the breadth of biology. Just my lab works on, you know, genomics, transcriptomics, epigenomics, uh, image analysis, spatial biology. There's all these different streams of work and I've been able to be, to see all of them um that's been really cool about my job this year so lots of really cool things but i'll close up with that all right and then we're gonna round up the video with a few minutes and i'll make it quick uh of things i've learned uh in my first year as a bioinformatician shooting is um a double-edged sword. Um, <laughs> I loved commuting at the beginning when life was really tough, as I kind of explained on my previous video, because I just needed things to take up my time and having to sit on a train uh, and, you know, walk to the station for what's summed up to is like three hours of my day. I actually really liked because it meant that I was like filling my time with something that wasn't just like emptiness. So commuting was good when it was that, but now that I want more from my life and I'm ready to start using my time better again, I want those three hours back, you know? I don't want to be sat on a train all that time. And I can't believe people literally used to commute to an office five days a week. Like it's just so unnecessary. I've learned that commuting is something I would understand better before I accepted a job because we value this working from home thing now a lot. Uh, so definitely learned to be yeah, more aware of how important commuting is in terms of like, yeah, how you value your time. And then another thing I've learned is being in a multidisciplinary team and environment is really hard. You know, there's so many incredible experts around me and they've all got this really niche fountains of knowledge and you're never gonna know everything they're talking about. Like it would be impossible to be an expert on like all the different types of omics and know all these clinical terminologies that they're talking about and know all of these other wet lab things. Like I'm just surrounded by so much information and I'm not gonna get all of it and like that's okay. If anything, it just kind of relays the importance of being a good communicator as a data scientist or bioinformatician because when you're talking about your stuff, to an audience that doesn't have your level of expertise. You have to be able to communicate in layman terms and say things simply because you won't always be surrounded by people who speak the same language and learning to speak different languages is really important. And the final thing I've learned this year, I think as a bioinformatician is um, I, I don't like working on my own. <laughs> I think I used to work in such a team of bioinformaticians and I really loved learning off people more senior than me. And in my current role, I'm the kind of, well, currently, I think there's more people coming in soon, but I've been the only person working on image analysis in my team and that's been really tough. Uh, I've missed being in a team of people. I've missed like working collaboratively on Git with people. Um, I've missed that and I like that. So. I really value, I've learned that I value that. 
uh, I value being with other techie people too. And finally, um, yeah, I've also just learned that being a biomathematician means many different things. It depends on who wrote the job ad. It depends on what the norm at that research institute or company is like. There's just many flavors of being a bioinformatician and I'm enjoying this flavor. Uh, and it's really cool to know that there's so many different companies and places out there and everything's just so different at different institutes and teams. And it's just really exciting to think of all the interesting things that are still out there to be explored in my career. So that is the end of today's video. I hope it's been fun and interesting and I'll see you guys on another one.